Now see, now, okay, now see, okay, this is what I'm talking about. The moment you drip and press the handbrake, well, that's a nightmare for me. I'm actually double pressing the handbrake right now. Now see, now, okay, now see, okay, this is what I'm talking about. The moment you see lots of people, this is car X and on YouTube I have tried every single solution to make the game run better. This is what the scenario of the game is. The moment that I try to drift or if I try to accelerate, the game just stutters very badly. And now if you go to the city, look at that. There are micro stutters. Okay. If you look at the graphics API, that's DAX 11. That's a 10 year old API on a 10 year newer system. So how will this run? So let's see now. See? Now, okay. Now see? Okay. This is what I'm talking about. The moment you drift. This happens only when there is a fast paced motion and I've tried every setting on YouTube and none of them works. So even if you add the game, the graphic settings inside the windows, that will also not work. But if you look closely on the right hand side here in the top, while I was playing, uh, if I can just, if I, if I still play right now, if you see here, when, it's, when the game is lagging, look at the frame gen, not the frame gen lag, look at the micro stutter, it's still 1.6. Now, 23%, 23%, that's the main problem here. And one more thing, is that look at the GPU power, 128 watt, whereas it should be consuming around 200 watts. That's also a problem. And also look at the GPU usage. So it's 57%, 43%, sometimes 60%, but most, most probably it's around 40, 46. And look at the CPU is 58, which is not good actually. CPU is using more and GPU is using less, which means now look at that. Look at this, it's so horrible. Look at the micro stutter. It's 36%. So now we'll fix that. So how will we fix that? So first of all, let me do a trick. Whenever you start the game, just you, when you start the game, go to task manager and you go to car X speed and go to details. After you go to details, right click on it, set priority and set this to below normal. First to do this below normal. Then I'll tell you later on if it doesn't work for you. And then set to affinity, go down and deselect four of the cores. So now it will be using 12 cores. I have 16 cores. So just click on OK and we will not close this for now. We'll just keep it like this and we'll just see right now that whether or not uh, our we should actually reduce our CPU usage and we should actually try to increase our GPU usage. So this is what the main problem here is the game because this game is okay, now I think it's getting a little better. The stutter is there. I won't say it's not there, but it's actually better than what it was before. 7%, 3.4%, it's maximum 16%. So any micro stutter under 16% is, I will say, see micro stutter is not good at all, but if it, the value is under 16%, that that's actually playable. If it goes above 30%, then what help? Now see, now the game is actually running so fine. See how easy it was. But there is still a quick lag. That's for a momentary lag. We'll also fix that later. Be with me in the video. The video might be a little bit longer, but it will actually help you guys. And this problem, I think, is mainly with the AMD cards because I'm an AMD user for a very long time, for like six years. Not for six years, for like 20 years, I'm an AMD user. Uh, if you go back from 2005. So, what I've seen is that AMD has focused more on DirectX 12, 12.1, and Vulkan recently, from 2018, since the Polaris architecture came out. So in that card, I remember the Atlas 11 titles fared very badly. And in this is the same case here. But in NVIDIA cards, the Atlas 11 is still optimized. Whereas AMD actually thought of the future and they didn't actually care much about the DirectX 11. But here in this game, it uses DirectX 11. And which in this case, NVIDIA is actually more optimized for the DirectX 11 titles. So what happened is that if you are using an NVIDIA card, so most probably uh, your game will run fine. Even if you run this game on an SSD, uh, it will run fine because the game says that you need an SSD for the game to work fine. But my friend has an AMD card and he has the 6750XT, same card which I am using right now. So uh, he ha also having the same problem, SSD and then the micro stutter. So he actually thought that maybe an SSD, buying an SSD will actually work, but no, it will not work for you. It will be a waste of money. 
because hard drives in today's generation i believe hard drives are more powerful it's not powerful than an ssd but again it's more powerful to run a game so if i go into my settings you see this is the 650 xt and thank god i did not buy an ssd you see the gpu power has actually increased to 148 watts sometime due to micro stutter it actually goes down to 70 but the gpu utilization is actually now see 66 71 62 it's actually more now because i have reduced the cpu load this is actually this is actually what we want we want the gpu to be around 90 percent that's actually the sweet spot and the cpu CPU can be anywhere, any, anywhere, but CP, CPU should not be a 100%. CP, CPU should not be more than 50%, which is what I believe. And uh, what we'll do now here, we'll go to settings. We'll actually increase the game resolution because if you increase the game resolution, your GPU usage will be high. So we'll set it to 1440p. Just curious what happens, you know, let's... Let's set this up. Is it, is it set? Yes, that's set. And now look at the GPU usage. It's eighty-six percent. Yeah, that's ninety percent. Okay, that's that, that's what you want actually. Now let's set, play the game. When we we try to accelerate, the game lags a lot. So now that's gone, completely gone. Some time is there. Okay, we'll fix that also. We'll fix that also. Game actually doesn't load shaders. Remember, sometimes it actually loads. Try to load the shader while during the gameplay. Actually, because they actually did that just to, you know to have a better gameplay experience, but that actually ruined the gameplay experience. For us. So this is what now see now the game is actually running very smoothly. Micro is nine point eight percent. Sometime okay now it's seventy percent. Okay, but that's momentary. That's momentary. It's not like that is lagging for quite a few seconds. But at least you can play a race right now. See if I can just hover around. Yeah, and let's just try to find a race and there's cars going on let's see let's get past them I'm using nitrous people will tell you ask you to turn off motion blur turn off shadows but that's actually not that will actually not help at all so this is the nighttime scenario this is the night time because in the night time there will be a maximum load on the graphics because there are light there's reflection and if it rains there will be even more reflection but i said cpu should not be more oh what i doing man cpu should not be more than uh 50 percent so cpu is locked in 50 you see cpu has been locked in 50 percent but the game is actually running fine see all the settings you see on youtube people are saying that okay this will help this will help do this and the game will be buttery smooth don't believe in that Always try to play the game in night time and see if the game works well in night time, then it would be very much better in daytime also. See, every game has a micro stutter. Micro stutter will be there in every each and every game. So let's see here uh, if there are any stutters or now the daytime is approaching, morning is approaching. I will see how the game fares in the morning time. That's the way you drift. Controller is actually more easy to grip. I'm, I'm not sure why. On a gamepad, on a oh, sorry, on a steering wheel, I press the handbrake. Well, that's a nightmare for me. I'm actually double pressing the handbrake right now. And on single pressing the handbrake, in the oh, boy, oh, that's a bit close drift. This is actually quite interesting here. Okay, so now this is. Just start time. There is a timer here. The rating also. I have actually, I think. But the rating actually increases. I can just see. See, the game hasn't lagged here since I have changed it to 4K. If you can, if your card can run the game in 4K, the main problem is that the usage. Uh, it doesn't matter what card you're using. So I've heard that people using older cards, the game is running fine because older cards actually are more optimized for DirectX 11. Even the RX 570 in the older older Polaris generation for AMD, those are also somewhat kind of uh, optimized for DirectX 11, but not that much optimized. But yeah, you will not get Microsoft if you're using an older card. But for newer cards, for 12 GB VRAM. 
it see uh, how much of vram is being consumed i cannot see here uh, okay for only 4 gb of vram is consumed see that's obvious because this is a directus 11 card so directus 11 will consume 4 gb that's what it's being consumed on 4k resolution now if i set this resolution to 8k now what happens now see now the game is actually running a little bit laggier because that's 4k it's the gpu is actually 5 gb is being consumed so even if you're using a 1066 66 gigabytes that will get fine for you you will get actually uh, more less uh, frame rates so 1440p is fine now it's daytime it's monitor by the way let's use a nitrous there will be a little sub a little bit but yeah at least you can win the race right now this sort of happens more when you drift even Karak's drift has this problem oh oh boy <laughs> i just narrowly survived that see how smooth the game is running the micro is actually now spiking but that's for a momentary spike that's a momentary spike it's not permanent so that's the highway so okay now i will conclude this video so follow all the steps which i've shown you and the game will run just fine so do not follow any other videos on youtube no those are just like to gain views but what i have shown you is the, the real deal uh, because the game isn't optimized so we have optimized it just to be sure so this is for today's video and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if this video helped you just a little bit then please uh, subscribe to our channel and then press the bell icon to receive notifications in time till then see you on my next video